Hi, my name is Regita. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We're finally on air. <laughs> finally, I've got my channel. So many people have been asking me, so here we are. And when I tuned in and sat with my, with my team, the thing that came through unanimously was how to own your power. In this day and age, how important it is to really be confident where you go, to stand in your light, to really shine bright, irrespective of other people that feel triggered by you. The more you own your power, the more you stay solid, the more you say, here I am. Take your seat by the fire. Let yourself be ignited with what really brings you alive. You know, and quite often I get asked, well, how do you do that, Regina? It's easy for you because you've been doing it for so long. The first thing I would say is listen to the language that you're saying to yourself. Listen to the inner self-critique. And you know what? A lot of it can be changed because it's a default. It's just a belief you've been carrying. It's a, it's a way that you've been showing up in consistently with the way we've been brought up, with what our teachers told us, with what institutions told us, with what society has told us. And what I'm here to tell you today is the complete opposite. Smash that paradigm in your life. Today is the day that you awaken to owning your power, owning who you are, showing up in the world and taking your seat by the fire. There's, when, when we're empowered, when we're a light, when we're lit, when we're ignited with fire and ignition and motivation and inspiration, we attract people to us. So for those who are always saying to me, why do I always attract the wrong person? Why am I always having toxicity in my life? Because there may be something toxic within you that needs to be looked at, loved, brought to light and then shifted. By us owning our power and knowing who we truly are, that just as you are in your authentic self is enough, that begins the shift in paradigm. That's the shift in consciousness. Never apologizing for who you are and never seeing that I'm not good enough or how can I even be in that light when you are the same light, you are the same energy. What I'm sharing with you today is owning your power, owning your light, owning everything that there is a dream within you that beckons to be born through your soul, to be birthed into this consciousness. If you're alive today, you're alive for a reason. So during these series, I'm going to be giving activation points of where it awakens you, where it allows you to see that you are enough as you are in your totality. No more in your inner mind of putting yourself down, of, of lowering the energy of who you are because the feminine within you hears it. So when your masculine doesn't give her the attention within, doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, I'm talking about your own inner yin yang. If the masculine within you judges, criticizes or harmfully puts down your feminine, immediately she shrivels. When it's the feminine, that's a star. She's the one that's lit. She's the one that's bright within you. She's the one that says to the world, look at my beauty, embrace me. Let me be seen for who I am in my totality. It's your job as the masculine within you to say, hey, I see you. You are beautiful. You are light. You are the love of my life. And it's not about self-love. There's so many videos and so many YouTubes and so so much writing about self-love it's even deeper than that it's that place of having a beautiful relationship within the self if we have the war within us then i can absolutely guarantee you there'll be a war without we have to come into that place of unity with our masculine and feminine united with her seeing him as her protector as her safeguard as her as her man as her masculine who really secures her, who makes her feel safe and secure in this world. When you feel safe and secure, you can stand anywhere and know that you won't be knocked around because your masculine's got your back. And for the masculine, most important is he looks at her as the one and only, as the beauty, as the star, star lit bright energy within you. That's the key to self-love, is having an opening, a relationship of conversation with your inner masculine, inner feminine. When they start to relate and harmonize within, I guarantee you it will begin to relate and harmonize without. And in that energy, the power of you begins to come back because it grows naturally. Confidence, it grows naturally that you can stand somewhere and feel, hey, I'm okay just as I am. I don't need to be approved because you approve of yourself. You accept yourself. You're no longer looking for validation. You're no longer looking for, look at me, look at me, look at me because you're looking at yourself. You see you as that beauty. You see you as that grace. You see you as that power. The inner language that you have with between your masculine and your feminine is 
key to building, establishing, expanding and evolving the energy of love within us. Energy of love is the most important force in this universe to dissolve anything. Anything that is going on in your outer life that you're unhappy with, honestly I say to you, the answer to that and the simple key to doing it is to building the relationship of your masculine and feminine within you back into love by harmonizing the soul within. Drop the weapons, let go of the war, remove the judgment, fierce compassion, an endless love for yourself, irrespective of. Validate yourself. Let yourself be seen by you in your totality. Two minutes every day of your masculine observing your feminine and really giving her the attention and the validation that she needs completely begins to help her to rise to heal. In the healing of the feminine begins the healing of love.